It's the New England Patriots taking on the Minnesota Vikings. Well, the radar says the heavy stuff still a few hours away, but snow is falling as we near kickoff at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. All the success in New England over the last few decades, and this crowd has never been more enthusiastic. A moment ago, the Pats emerged from their locker room. They are set as they'll square off with the Minnesota Vikings. Welcome again, one and all. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Brandon Gaughton on hand alongside Charles Davis. And yes, the storyline here, the weather. Snow and more of it expected as this game continues. So how will that impact how this one goes? Can these teams ignore the distraction and the strangeness of playing in a snow game? Because it actually affects the crowd as well. That big roar you get is often muffled when there's a snow game. And the second part, what's the footwear you got on? Does that fit the turf? If you're playing on and how will it handle as things get a little bit slick and sets him up pretty good here right at the 30 yard line so here come the Patriots getting ready on offense they're led by their quarterback from the University of Alabama Mac Jones that was a solid performance last week wasn't it two touchdowns no interceptions ran the team well yeah, you're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Operating from the gun, Jones. Jones hit, and the ball's out. Defensively lucky they're able to keep the football, but now fourth down, so they'll have to boot it away. I do think, though, they're going to look at this as a positive. One possession here on the punt, and the Vikings will take over here first and ten. So here come the Vikings as they get set for their first drive. And they will be let out by their 6'4 quarterback. And if you go by three, because he establishes not just an identity and a tone, but the team relies on it. He takes care of the football, he gains yardage for him, chews up clock, and that's been a big part of why they're winning games lately. And he'll get it up near the 30. Now back to throw. That's caught by the tight end, Irv Smith Jr. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it, it's not a very... Throwing on first down, Jones. The connection here with Nelson Aguilar. And he'll be out right at the 35. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Now a first down carry for Harris. And he'll work it across midfield in Sentinels today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Playing this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Back to throw. Jones. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. A.J. Boye with a pick. And the Vikings will take over here at their own 12-yard line. So a first in his loss. After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that nearly intercepted. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. The numbers for him from a week ago. Six catches. Yeah, he's going against us in the bottom half of the league against the pass. He had to have circled this one on the schedule and said to himself, this should be a big game. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 36. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Looking to throw. Jones. And brought down, but not before they're inside the tw big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. 
Now the pressure gets there, and he goes down just inside the 20 at the 19. For him on the year. The Patriots will bring on the field goal unit. This from 36 yards out. And his kick here is good. And the Patriots. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That's complete to three. But now it's third down. They'll set up to throw. This is caught by Antonio Brown. The completion good for him. The ability to catch 1,031 passes. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And he's going to have his running back. It's complete. And they'll get down. Confidence haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, there's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. Seventh play in the drive upcoming here on third and six. Back to throw again. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third. The special teams crew here for a field goal try. And it's a fake. He's going to throw it. Now a throw caught by one of their linemen. Nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Once you get into the red zone, space is at a premium for receivers to try and operate and shake themselves free. That one's incomplete. The Vikings on third down. Not good. 0 for 4 thus far. This is third and nine. Back to throw. And he comes back with one complete. Touchdown, Vikings! Antonio Brown with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Vikings have taken the lead. I'll let you do the analysis, partner, but with every touchdown pass this young quarterback throws and with the success that his team has had, just they'll bring it out to the 25. Here comes Mac Jones and the rest of the Patriot offense. And I guess the question, Charles, is what's the formula for keeping him better protected? Because as we see, the protection, it's struggle. And normally what you get is renewed determination. When the, when the big guy gets... Now Jones on first down. Quick hitter here, it's complete. First has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag because when you do, you just third down. Two for five to this point. This will be third and a mile. Looking to throw. Jones. And this complete to Henry over the middle. Perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And this is caught. It's Brown. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. Plenty of shouts from this crowd as they watch the replay. They want a challenge, and they're going to get one. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. After the play, the run of the field is reversed. Winds up a very good call there defensively to challenge that one as that now will wind up an incomplete pass. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Cook. And he... Now a play fake here on first down. Got a man, it's Brown. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so.
Looking to throw. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. to throw. We're looking for Jefferson, but this is intercepted. Picked off by Adrian Phillips. And the Patriots are going to take over a couple of yards shy. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Back to throw. Jones. And caught by Henry. the 37 on first and 10. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. And he works it. Just the CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And some room to work. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. That was a beautifully executed screen. Let the One play, and they're already just shy of midfield. They'll set up a throw. And he's correct, but not five. Not only have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely. Great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? Back to throw now on first down. And this one right back into the hands of Jefferson. The Vikings going to signal for their first of their timeouts. As they get the stoppage, which just got there and popped it free. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. They'll look to throw. That is caught by Thielen. Touchdown! Adam Thielen with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Vikings find a way to stretch their lead. Solid response that time by a young quarterback. Last drive, interception. This drive, the touchdown pass. I like how you described it solid because you don't get extra two seconds to go in the first half. Now Jones from the gun on third down. Pressure coming from the Vikings, and they get there and bring it. Out comes this field general once more, leading his offense back onto the field. And he's looked pretty good. It does have the one interception, but two touchdown passes. They'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. A gain of three, second down. So we hit halftime with our visitors, the Vikings, taking the lead to the locker room as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Things definitely getting interesting around the NFL as we begin the month of December. So let's get right to it. We'll get our tour started out at Venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. And in the second quarter, it is the Eagles who are out in front. It's Jalen Hurts with a couple of touchdown passes. From there, we head over to MetLife Stadium to check in on the Jets. And they have the lead in that one over the visiting Lions. Michael Gallup, a touchdown reception. Lastly, let's get out to Jacksonville. See what's happening with the Jaguars at TIAA Bank Field. And they have the lead in that one over the visiting Packers. A touchdown pass for Trevor Lawrence. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back-and-forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half for the answer? We turn it back over to our broadcast team. 
of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. And that, Mike, number 53, Mike 53. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And he's got his big tight end here. And he's brought down, getting one up. Solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Now, after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. He'll drop to throw. That's complete to his running back, Jefferson. They'll drop to throw. On the move to his left. Oh, that one sailed a bit, but the catch is still made. One, right? Raiders, Patriots to send the Patriots uh, to the Super Bowl. The, the tuck roll. roll, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's one people remember. But I also know this in Miami, the infamous one, the snowplow game in New England when that was 82, and the Dolphins fans will never forget it. Well, we're not seeing one of those famous games here, but it's fun to be in the snow nonetheless. down it's caught and down inside the 15 he goes in the red zone now they'll look to throw pass incomplete but the flag in the backfield and this might be a roughing call the end zone and it'll be second and goal well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. On second and goal, Cook waiting in the backfield all alone. He'll look to throw. And Thielen's got it. Touchdown, Vikings. Adam Thielen, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Vikings take the opening kickoff. The, third bounce. the reception good for seven. It's third down. Now Jones. The Vikings after him, and they get there for the sack. Everson Griffin. He can rank about it. Most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Job swarming to the ball carrier. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Setting up the screen for Cook. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. And they've used him in the passing game to great effect so far. And here they get it to him again on the screen. And it turns into a nice positive play. They'll run it. Here's Cook. Cook a first down and more. And he is out of bounds, but not before. He had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on that. Open man. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. It's complete to Brown, right side. And on second and goal, Cook waiting in the backfield all alone. He'll get it up the middle, and he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Dalvin Cook, his fifth touchdown now on the year. Their lead. handoff to Harris to begin the drive. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Complete. 
A second and ten now. Third quarter action from Foxborough. Looking to throw. Jones. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. Plenty of opportunities to get in sync. Thus far, that hasn't happened. They're looking for answers both on the sidelines and in the huddle looking at each other. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 40. Defender in the secondary for the Vikings here on third down. Back to throw. Jones. He finds Aguilar over the middle. And down conversion. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. Looking to throw. Jones. He's got it complete to Aguilar. Wind up being the final play of quarter number three. It'll be first and goal when we come back. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And a nice pick up there as he'll take it from the team. So they've been in the red zone three times, and it's yielded just three points. Can they find the end zone here on... And he's in! Touchdown, Patriots! Damian Harris with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Patriots are finally into the end zone here in the... Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. They'll try to run for it with Penny. And he's got the first down yard on. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. Now back to throw. And that is incomplete. Away. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. And did they keep it in? They did. They kept it in. It's complete. New England on third down. They're right at about the league average, 40%, 4 for 10. Here it's third and three. That swung out wide to Harris. And he went with a nice gain of seven yards. And now they have a little more space to maneuver from the 15, first and 10. Back to throw. Jones. Going right side here in the 50 and into New England territory. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. Third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Flush to his right. And he will have first down yardage as he's... Great play there. First down marker at the 31. It's third down. They'll set up to throw. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. Looking to throw, Jones. And his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. Boy, so offensive coaches, they have to evaluate whether you keep playing him and let him work through it. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he will score. Touchdown, Vikings. Rashad Penny, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Vikings add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. As that lead just swells and well, nine yards on first down. Throwing again on second down. Jones finding Bourne here over the... They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off at the 49. 
And he's able to get it back here to the 43-yard line. To throw again on second down. Jones, catch is made by Heron. He'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. He completes it to Henry. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Now another timeout called for by... The Patriots will take their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. He sets to fire D. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Nelson Aguilar, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Pats get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that was the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is a continuation of your college days. A lot of unreal. So the final seconds have ticked away in this Minnesota victory, and they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second half to put this one on ice. And I know a lot of people watching this one were thinking to themselves, I'll bet halftime was really interesting. Probably took the paint off the walls with some of the words that were said. <laughs> But I get the sense that it was much more of the adjustments they made. They came in with a game plan that we saw that didn't work in the first half. They made the adjustments necessary, went away from that, and then they got it together, got a spark, and then took off. It's really nice to watch in the second half. So for Minnesota, the win moves them to 12-1 and one now on the year. And they'll be able to enjoy this one through the bye week before they get back at it again. Meanwhile, for New England, the playoffs look to be out of reach now as they drop to 4-8. And, and they will try to get back in the swing of things next week.